Hello, this is Jenny from McLothian Libraries back again with another craft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make parrots for all your pirate games. So we're starting with um, a variety of coloured papers, a toilet roll, an empty toilet roll, some scissors, marker pen, you need a glue stick, um, a hole punch with the bottom taken off so you can see where you're punching your hole, uh, some sellotape and some feathers, some brightly coloured feathers. I'm choosing three or four different colours ready to start covering the toilet roll. Putting the rest aside for the moment. And I'm going to make the body of my parrot blue. And I'm going to measure the length of the toilet roll and mark that with a pencil. Then using a ruler, I'm just gonna join that line up and then cut off the piece of blue paper. I'm checking how much extra paper I've got there and cutting off the excess. Now using the glue stick, I'm going to put glue on both ends and wrap that round the empty toilet roll. Make sure you have enough paper just to overlap a little bit so you don't have a gap at the back. And I'm going to choose another colour and measure four centimetres and cut out that strip of paper. Again, you'll trim off any excess and glue it either end and then stick it round the top of your toilet roll. And this is the parrot's head. I'm using some yellow paper now to make a bit of a um, bright chest or stomach for my parrot and I'm going to cut that and I'm going to trim it down, make sure it's not too big and then I'm going to draw a curved line to cut round.
checking that it fits all right and then adding glue all over and sticking it on. Next I'm going to take some orange paper, or even a thin card would be good for this, but paper is fine, and draw a diamond shape on it, which I'm going to cut out, and this will be the parrot's beak. You fold this in half and then glue on one side sticking that on just at the bottom of the head and just above the beginning of the chest. Then on a piece of white paper or card, I'm going to draw, well I'm first going to cut out the, sh the shape and then I'm going to draw some eyes. I'm doing two together just to make sure that they're the same. So the, if you fold the card or paper over, you can cut two at the same time. And then they're both exactly the same size and shape. I'm going to use a marker pen to make some eyeballs. Or pupils. going to stick these on just above the parrot's beak. There you are. And now I can just curve that beak a little bit because parrots have quite a curved beak. Just using the pencil to roll round. You don't really want to do that before the glue's dried in case your beak falls off. Now I'm going to get my feathers and stick them on. So I've got feathers for wings, um, for the top of the parrot's head, and for a tail. So the blue one I'm using to make the crest, the parrot's crest. So a bit of sellotape stuck to the, uh, the bottom of the feather and then stuck to the inside of the toilet roll. Looks like mad hair, doesn't it? Now do the same with your feathers that you've chosen for your wings. And if you've got, if, the, if there's not enough of the quill showing, the sharp part of the feather, um, you can pull a little bit of the, the feather off to then have something to stick your sellotape onto. 
then just stick that to the side of the parrot. And one for the other side. trying to make sure that they've not got one higher than the other. There they are. Now the tail feathers, I'm, again I'm removing a little bit of the feather to make sure I've got something to stick my sellotape to. I'm going to stick the two feathers together before I add them to the parrot. Just going to stick that in this, uh, sorry, not on the inside, but just to the back of the parrot to create his tail feathers. Right. The last thing to do here is to punch a hole at either side, just, just by the, just at the bottom beside the chest area and I'm going to use a pipe cleaner make sure making sure it's long enough to go round your wrist and to be able to twist it underneath just to make sure that it's going to stay on and then once you've got it to the right size and it's long enough to do that you can just trim the ends And there's your parrot.